So I'm going to introduce, this is Sarah Owen from the Southwest Florida Communities Foundation. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sarah Owen, S-A-R-A-H-O-W-E-N, and I'm the President and CEO of the Southwest Florida Community Foundation. You know, a year ago, we met here in this room because we needed the community to step up to help us recover from a storm, Hurricane Irma. But today, we gather in this room to address a different kind of storm. It's not a hurricane, but the implication to our neighbors in Southwest Florida is very much the same. Due to the red tide and the algae that's created a water crisis in our region, we realize that humans are suffering. And that's where our partnership, many of the partners that are here today, come together, step up, reach out to the community, gather funds so we can assist people who are hurting. I'm really excited about the partners who have gathered because I think this group of people has the capacity to really impact Lee County and in some cases, Southwest Florida as a whole. Once again, it's gonna take our nonprofit uh, partners, business partners, the county, other government entities to really come together to solve for this issue. But our focus today is on helping our neighbors in need. I'm going to be introducing Cliff Smith, who's the president of the United Way, but I wanted to make a special mention to a business that stepped up weeks ago, and that's Sunshine Ace Hardware. I'm really pleased to have Scott Puck, a store manager, here with us today, and he'll be available later to answer questions. But Sunshine Ace Hardware over the weekend had collection sites at all of their stores throughout Southwest Florida because they know their customers and the people throughout our region that visit their stores every day are hurting and need help. And these are the kinds of things that we expect to happen as we launch the fund. Today, the Southwest Florida Community Foundation has joined forces with the United Way of Lee Henry Glades and Okeechobee to create a giving fund to move money to nonprofits who can help individuals with incomes affected by the water crisis. There's so much need, but with all of us working together, I know we can solve for it. The Southwest Florida Community Foundation has launched the fund with a $20,000 seed contribution, and we're calling on businesses and individuals to come alongside us and match it. And we're encouraging all of you in the community that do have the ability and know your neighbors are hurting to join us. Now I'd like to turn it over to Cliff Smith, who can tell you more about their amazing network of partner agencies that are right now, as we speak, boots on the ground, helping our neighbors. Thank Thanks, you, Sarah. Cliff. I'm Cliff Smith. I'm president of United Way, um, C-L-I-F-F-F. -F -F -F. I, I thought I was going to misspell Smith, but um, <laughs> S-M-I-T-H. Um, it is, I, I truly want to um, thank Sarah for her and everyone at the Community Foundation for their leadership and what they do to make our community such a great place to, to live and how they always step up when there are needs in our community. Um, and um, I'm here today, I mean, when, when there are challenges in our community, this is the way we, these are the groups that we partner with. And as you all know from Hurricane Irma, our partnership, we have a great partnership with the Community Foundation, the United Way does, and also with the, um, with the county as we work together to solve issues in our community. Um, and the, the pattern that we will, um, again, replicate in this situation is that Sarah and her people will um, do all of the awareness and all of the publicity as, as far as managing the fund and making sure all of that is done in a completely appropriate way, and they do a phenomenal job of that. The partnership, the way the partnership works is then the United Way's role in this is to assess the needs of the community, talk to the partner agencies, and then distribute the funds by investing that money in the agencies that can help the most people. And in this situation, we have only been talking to the agencies, and we do know that um, their, their network of United Way agencies has been in place and has been helping um, families in our community. They have been focused on the families that are most in crisis, um, who have most been negatively impacted um, by, by, the, by the water challenges. And I'm looking out here at the media. You guys have been doing a great show, job of covering some of the work that they've been doing. Um, as you all know, we are coming out of a challenging year where resources were limited and had to be stretched because of the hurricane. Um, this situation, as they've been helping those families, they, they has continued that. Um, they, there was no, there was no. Obviously, this was not a budgeted or expected challenge. 
and um, resources have been stretched and have been limited. So this is going to be an absolute godsend um, so that we can give those agencies additional supplemental money to continue to help those families who are in crisis, but also to be helping more families as we move forward on this. So we, as long, again, we want to thank the, our two great partners, the, the county and the Southwest Florida Community Foundation, and we encourage the community to give generously so that we can um, help our neighbors. Our, our community has a tremendous history of doing that, um, and we know everyone will step up and do that again. So um, thank you to everyone. And now what I'd like to do is introduce Pamela Johnson from the Lee County Office of Economic Development. So Pamela, thank you. you're up. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Cliff, and good morning, everybody. I'm Pamela Johnson. I'm the Interim Director of the Lee County Economic Development Office, P-A-M-E-L-A-J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Uh, this morning, we're delighted to be here uh, along with these great partners from the Community Foundation and United Way and Ace Hardware. Uh, we really want to get the word out about uh, what the Economic Development Office is doing uh, to help businesses. Uh, one of the things, as you know, uh, Governor Scott did declare um, activate the emergency bridge loan program a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's for businesses that have been impacted by the uh, uh, algae as well as red tide. And the emergency bridge loan program really helps to bridge the gap for small businesses uh, um, who have been impacted. Uh, small businesses with employees from 2 to 100 are eligible. Uh, loans are up to $50,000. Uh, they are interest-free up to 180 days. And uh, currently, there is no federal assistance designated for this occurrence, but we anticipate that that will change shortly. And when, when that happens, we will make an announcement as to where uh, local businesses can go for federal uh, assistance. I did want to remind everyone that the uh, deadline to apply uh, for the algae is September 7th and uh, for the red tide is October 12th. Um, I'm also the Deputy Director of the Visitor and Convention Bureau and I just wanted to talk real quickly about the um, programs for tourism. Uh, Visit Florida, the state's tourism agency, created a grant in the amount of $500,000 to assist local uh, tourism boards with increasing visitation to the area after the red tide has um, subside, subsided. Uh, also, Visit Florida created a recovery marketing program for those businesses who've been affected. Um, those range from um, partnerships, uh, free partnerships into Visit Florida, as well as brochure distribution, um, um, media through Visit Florida, uh, social, as well as PR. So um, if anyone is interested in those programs, uh, please contact the Visitor and Convention Bureau and we'd be happy to get more information, uh, as well as um, the Economic Development Office for the, um, the uh, bridge loan programs. Okay? Thank you.